uh, we found that we can mix various filler particles into liquid gallium and by doing so we form either paste-like or putty-like materials. So gallium is kind of interesting because most people are familiar with liquid metal being mercury, but mercury is very toxic material. Uh, gallium, on the other hand, is non-toxic and it melts at around 30 degrees Celsius. But it's possible to mix some other uh, elements in there like indium or tin and that will bring the melting point down uh, to a liquid at room temperature. So we found that we can make these putty-like or paste-like composites with these uh, gallium alloys also. Is I love playing with clay when I was a kid. And so even though I'm not a very good artist, I can still make some nice little Christmas scenes uh, with the with the material that we make. So as I mentioned, when you mix the material in, um, depending on how much you mix in, a little bit you form a kind of paste-like material. As you add more and more, then it becomes putty-like. Liquid gallium is very electrically conductive. It's also very thermally conductive, but we can tune the properties by choosing a particular uh, filler particle. So one of our research topics we mixed diamond particles in and diamond has a very high thermal conductivity. So we found gallium also has a high thermal conductivity but we could increase that even further by adding the diamond particle. We did demonstrate a few applications in the paper and I think the most promising one is as a thermal interface material. So thermal interface materials uh, facilitate the heat transfer between a heat source and a heat sink. So the most common one would be your CPU and your computer and the heat sink that sits on top. So they may look very smooth but in fact there's microscopic roughness on each surface. So you need some what's called a thermal interface material to facilitate the heat transfer between them. So uh, normal commercial thermal interface materials are usually petroleum greases that have some high thermal conductivity filler particles in there. Now there is also uh, a commercial based uh, liquid metal thermal interface material. But this is a pure liquid, not, uh, not a putty or a paste-like material. So this has some issues in practicality. It's easy to spill and to, to mess. So uh, we showed that by mixing the diamond particles into our liquid metal and creating that paste-like material, so it actually has a little bit higher performance than the commercial liquid metal thermal interface material. So that's because the diamond particles are higher thermal conductivity than uh, liquid metal. But it also has the secondary benefit is being more practical by being a paste-like material.